explain to me the um, the basis for the complaint well, against uh, Rush Carnahan. Yeah, I mean, what we know is that in the last couple of uh, months, it has become public knowledge that there was a, a um, uh, an LLC called the Castle Ballroom LLC. Public explanations by Congressman Carnahan why it was not publicly disclosed for these last couple of years have been changing. Uh, one of them was that this was a property that he bought for development and decided not to develop. Another was it was real estate. Well, as we looked into the matter, and we had citizens who called us and said, if you looked at this, looked at that, we looked closely. It's um, clear that Congressman Carnahan's campaign in 0304, a very famous campaign, contentious primary, uh, had some things that are, are at least uh, troubling and, and look like they could be federal uh, law violations. The first one is over the first um, period of months of that campaign, there was um, I think five or six payments by the campaign to the LLC for rent uh, when it is by most accounts, I don't think there's any evidence that there was a campaign headquarters at that point would have been outside of the district in a derelict building, but uh, we don't know. And uh, that's um, the first thing. That would be, under the law, looks like a conversion where you use campaign money to uh, pay yourself. Uh, and again, why we're finding out this late date. But the second uh, one is that um, there was in December of that same year, in 04, uh, a payment from the Castle Ballroom to his campaign, Carnahan's campaign, which is another violation of federal law. You have to have uh, certain types of ca contributions uh, can't be done without an explanation. So we think it's important that this uh, this land deal, which has already been sort of exposed as a sweetheart land deal, it looks like it was also uh, a way for Congressman Carnahan to either pay his mortgage or pay himself or, or pay someone. So we think it's important for people to find out. Is there anything unlawful about a the congressman paying an entity that he owns for rent for his campaign headquarters, his campaign committee doing that? I don't know that there's anything unlawful. There's two questions that need to be answered. One is, it wasn't disclosed. All these years it hasn't been disclosed. Congressman Carney has said that it was not you know, a property that he was using uh, to, to use. And I don't think there's any evidence we haven't seen that the property included a campaign headquarters. So that may be the explanation, but certainly, you know, again, for five years, the Castle Ballroom LLC has not been disclosed. And we'll see if, um, you know, that would have been the second office that he maintained outside of the district. If you recall back then, he had one office that was outside the district. He moved. Uh, this would have been a second one that was outside the district. It would be strange to me. And again, I think it doesn't really pass the smell test to have a half derelict, I don't know if you've seen the Castle Ballroom, it's a der pretty derelict building uh, with no uh, office, but maybe that's his explanation, that he was somehow using that space, and um, I think that'll be for the FEC to figure out the facts.